I said the uh, detectives from Crimes Against Persons, Crimes Against Property, and our Criminal Information Section are continuing and actively investigating all of these cases. At least 75 interviews have already been conducted. Uh, we have received numerous Crime Stoppers tips, uh, but we are asking the public for any more information that you might have regarding any of these drive-by shootings. Uh, certainly, they can call Crime Stoppers at 542-STOP, or they can go to the Pueblo Crime Stoppers website, www.pueblocrimestoppers.com, or for that matter, People can access the Pueblo Community Policing Portal at crimesuspect.net and provide us with any information that they might have. We will be following up on any tips that we do get uh, and looking, as I said, to arrest the individuals that are involved in this series of shootings. Uh, the one thing that I can tell you is that our patrol officers have also actively been involved in, in looking for these individuals. I mentioned the event last night, but on April 16th, uh, our officers, while they were proactively trying to address some of this current gang activity, they arrested an individual named Jeremy Suazo uh, for possession of a weapon by a previous offender. The weapon happened to be a nine millimeter handgun Follow-up investigation resulted in the confiscation of nearly a half a pound of heroin and $8,000 in cash. A vehicle and another handgun were ultimately recovered. Suazo happened to be arrested on some other charges, but the officers had been looking at the particular recent gang-involved shootings.